So what I wanted to do here is also compare Forex not only to starting a business, not only Forex compared to um, franchising, but what about real estate investing? Because there are many ways to make money. Um, you can do it with investing in real estate, investing in stocks, options, Forex, investing in a business, real estate, and uh, franchises. So what about uh, franchising uh, or, or real estate investing? And, that, and that's where this video series came from. From. So, from a real estate investing point of view, I think real estate is a good investment. But there's only one thing I don't like about it, uh, real estate. Now, obviously, when we say real estate, it's like saying trading. There are so many different um, strategies which you can use in real estate. You can do flipping, buy and hold. You can do rehabbing, wraparound finance. I know because I work for a real estate investor, there are many different ways which you can do it um, and make money in real estate. Now, depending on your personality, real estate might be the vehicle for you. So oftentimes, uh, real estate involves the purchase of ownership, management, rental, or sale of the actual property. If you want, you can um, obviously pause the video and read this. I don't want to make it too boring and um, you know reel out a lot of info. I just want to cover the top salient points of why Forex compared to real estate. So um, obviously, you've got to everything is. Um, boils down to return on investment and you can read that slide so for example um, if you bought a property for 100,000 after repairs and rehab of the property which costs you an extra 50,000 the property has is now valued at 200,000 making an investor you know 50,000 uh, US dollars um, obviously in order to get that property you need to advertise you need to have a website you need to have been to a lot of real estate investing courses and um, a lot of good real estate investing courses are pretty expensive, the good ones, not the free ones, because you can go to any free real estate investing course. The problem is a lot of them aren't free, so they'll upsell you a very expensive um, real estate course. But um, basically, you're always going to have costs in real estate. So I just wanted to go over, you know, as I said, there's marketing. You've got to have marketing in order to find your real estate um, deals. So you've got wholesaling. Now, in reality, wholesaling is, um, in its simplest form, you finding a property for less value. So if you find a property that's worth 100,000, but someone's willing to sell it for 90,000, you will then sell it to another investor for 95,000 US dollars and make yourself 5,000 in the process. Um, that's basically wholesaling. Um, you just basically, in a way, flipping the property. Flipping and rehabbing is, is a different story, but wholesaling is basically you find the property, you then sell it to another investor, make a small profit. Uh, rehabbing, you know, is a form of fixing up the property. A lot of the times, though, when you're dealing in real estate, the biggest expense is not finding the property. For me personally, the reason I don't like real estate investing is I don't like dealing with people uh, that are in that desperate mode of having to sell that property. And a lot of the time, in order to make that 50% return on investment, it requires quite, quite a lot of work. I'm not talking about mega major real estate deals involving uh, you know, hundreds of thousands. I'm talking about your retail real estate investor that's going to be doing you know, 15 deals per year. In order to make the 50,000, sure, um, compared to a job, it's not as much work. But there is still quite a bit of um, work involved. You have to deal with lawyers, accountants, um, and there, can, there, there could be legal issues at the end of the day. So that is why I don't really like it. And there is a learning curve. Um, it's not going to be that you're going to make a million at the end of the day. The other thing is landlording. Um, I don't like landlording. I think it's one of the most difficult jobs. It's, it's okay if you've got a tenant in your property um, that's going to look after your property. But in terms of actually uh, Forex compared to landlording, in Forex you don't have to deal with anyone. It's a 24-hour market, operates six days a week which is one of the reasons why I think Forex is one of the best businesses. You don't have to step out your door in order to make money.